Alright guys, this is Lightning Gamer here, coming at you with another part of Life of Strange. We just made a really tough decision, and now we are going to be working on... Excuse me. Sorry, had to <laughs> had to look down for a second. We are going to be working on Episode 4, The Dark Room. This is going to be Part 4. I can't believe how tough of a decision that was. Oh. But I can't wait for more of this game, and I'm sure you guys can't wait for this either. So, without further ado, we'll play more of Life is Strange, Episode 4. Alright. Sorry about that, guys. Just sending some more stuff, making sure all my recording stuff is correct. Setting my timer, and we're good to go. All right, resume. The real world, Max. I don't want to get up just yet. Okay. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. All right, let me look at other things first. That snow doe always makes me think of William and Chloe. Why did you call it a snow doe? It's not a snow doe. I, well, I mean, I guess snow globe doe, but... Alright, nothing else here? Oh, we can sit back I on the bed. All this shit. Damn. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. The Great Northwest. Oh, the Prescotts Pan Estates. Haven or Hell by Craig Kennedy. The name Prescott may not mean much to you or to those outside the edges of a small coastal Oregon town. But this is a name that means quite a bit in Arcadia Bay. A quaint town seemingly stuck in time. Once home to a prosperous fishing and tourism industry, the town has seen such much better paydays. Yeah, stuck in time. Despite the local success of the prestigious Blackwell Academy and its football and swimming teams, the Bigfoots and the Otters, environmental changes to the area have reduced the amount of fish and other sea life, resulting in a stagnant economy and limited tourism. Oddly, the Prescotts have managed to keep their business interests quite profitable. In fact, they're behind an expensive, exclusive housing development known as Pan Estates to be built into the deep forests near Blackwell Academy. Local Native American groups have already filled various motions against the development, citing widespread destruction of tribal lands and natural resources. Continued on the next page. Alright, there was no next page. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. Yeah, that's a good point to make. I'm just listening to the song. I love it. <gasps> they always pick such good soundtracks. Alright. Look. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. Lots of coffee? Okay. Yes, Chloe Price was. <laughs> Cigarettes. Okay, nothing to do with the window. I don't want to sit down. Okay, she said, look at our board, right? Examine. Oh, man, so many things on there. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, uh, what things? <laughs> One, decipher Frank's logbook. To get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. Good point. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. Yeah. We do have a gun now. Have a gun now. Okay. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. Uh -uh. Fine, whatevs. It's your power. <laughs> Which I can't waste on shit like that. Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. Yeah. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. We do. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. Ah, uh, okay. And cyber stock some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm huh. not my partner. Oh, can we talk to you before? I can't abuse Photo. This. I can't abuse this power, yes. Sorry. 
Photo, photo, photo is more important. Which one is that? Ambient. Oh, this is the first photo of the game. Okay, cool. I didn't miss anything. That looks like a swing set or something. Alright. New page. And then Chloe asked me to put her to sleep. The accident left her body pretty much broken. Her lungs stopped working properly. And she was basically dying a slow, painful death. She also felt so guilty about her parents' sacrifice and dwindling income. She wasn't erratic or tortured about this request, just practical, which made me feel even more terrible for putting in this situation. I agreed to help her simply because she explained that she wanted to have a choice for the last time in her life. How could I argue with that? Especially since I knew I screwed up the entire universe by making a simple decision. And I knew I'd have to go back eventually and accept the timeline that actually happened. So Chloe and I had one last movie night watching Blade Runner, falling asleep to the sounds of... Vangelis, and when I woke up I put my best friend to sleep forever. After my visit to Chloe's new world I knew it was time to go max to the future. Max instead of back to the future. I had seen this result of my temporal tampering and I got scared thinking my new power wouldn't even work anymore. That would have been cruel karma. Fortunately, no, fortunately I was able to project myself into the photograph once again and I undid everything I had done. Goodbye William again. Hello David. Again. All right. Oh my gosh, so many more. Um, Jesus. Private number, private number. Warren. Somehow. Oh, jeez, that's a lot. Oh, okay. Okay. Thanks for helping with my experiment, Doctor Maxine. I didn't help at all. You did enough so that I got an A minus instead of the B plus I was stressed about. Okay, I'll take credit for success. Congrats, I roll. Even though A minus is such a bullshit grade, A minus somehow think they'll, you'll survive. Tell it to my folks. Got a jam. Bathroom. Thanks for sharing. He really wanted an A plus in that. Ba Come on, dude. No, we're not gonna change our grade. You had an A. <laughs> crazy, crazy. All right, we'll save Kate for last. We'll do Chloe. Okay. Alright. Hey man, I suck again. Sorry I got in your face today and took out my bullshit rage on my best friend. Chloe, I understand. You're going through a lot. We all are. Besides, I threw your beanie out the window and busted out my rewind. Okay, that is one of that is your one get out of emoji jail free card. But we need to stock up on six coffee and candy for an all nighter. We have to get into Rachel and Kate detective mode. Excellent, dear Watson. I'll bring my thinking cap. No worries, I have a beanie. I'll swing by and pick you up. Sweet, I'll be ready. XO, XO. And that was no emoji. <laughs> Alright, dad. Alright. Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl. As am I. We have no doubt sending you a black hole's bad thing we ever demanded you. We do. It makes us so proud about the reading news. If you want to come back home. Thanks, pops. It's been a whirlwind. Hey honey, I got a weird text warning me that my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank? Answer from a block number. Oh, I'm sorry. Some jackass in my class thought that'd be funny to send. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number, okay? Me neither, sorry. I'm just being a dad. I know this has been a tough week for you. It's almost over. I'll call you guys later. Love you. Juliet! Hey Juliet, are you busy? No, no time to be busy. You never text me. What's going down? Besides everything, I was just curious if you've ever heard of a guy named Frank who lives in an RV around town. You mean a van down by the river? I heard he's a sketchy meth head, that's about it. Why? Are you doing your own investigation without my help? No, just bored. Talk soon. Thanks. Okay, but you can't keep secrets from Ace Reporter Juliet Watson. Hello? <laughs> that's funny. <clears throat> Alright, Justin. Okay, hey Justin, you busy? Max Wax, I'm busy blazing. What up? Do you know Frank Bowers? Drugs? That's it. Ask Nathan. He knows him, I think. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, Justin. For what? <laughs> mom. Hi, Mom. Thanks for letting me gush over our Blackwell here. I missed your voice. We're very proud of... We're so very proud, so milk this moment. Let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway. We love you, Maxine. Maxine, what the heck is going on with the weather up there? Are they doing military tests or something? You're right in the eye of the storm. Yes, I even killed my plant, Lisa. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. Get another. One plant was successful enough. Now back to the books. Talk soon. And my favorite, Kate. 
Okay. Max, thank you from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school. The only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father's grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings, your friend Kate. Hey Kate, I'm so glad you're okay. I'll visit you as soon as I can, promise. Max, how are you? I hope you can still visit me this week. I have some important things to talk about. Of course, I'm still coming to visit you. You can't stop me. I miss you. And my bunny. We all miss you. And your bunny misses you. Yay, you are such a great friend. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you. Excellent. <laughs> I'm so happy. Kate's alive. I'm so happy. <clears throat> okay. Oh, there's another message? Courtney. Hey, girlfriend. Let me know when you want to come by my room, and I'll give you a fashion makeover. Oh, thanks, Courtney. I'm swamped with homework now, but I'll check in with you later. Thanks again for the offer. All right. Oh, man. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. All right, can I rewind and then... Because I want to talk to her first before I look at the board. Okay. Oh, no, I can't? Really? Oh, yeah, I get up. All right. Oh, all right. I guess I lose that option. Well, worth I a try. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. <coughs> what? It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. I'm I sorry. I should have known just erasing that phone message wouldn't stop the police. Oh, I tried. Arcadia Bay Police. To clue, Miss Price, this is an Officer Anderson Barry, and since we have your contact info on file here, we'd like you to come by the station on Monday morning at approximately 8 a.m. to answer a few questions about any information you may have regarding a recent break-in and the fact that your car was identified around the same time. We look forward to clearing this up. Examine. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. Yeah. How much time have I altered since? Uh, I don't know. Everything? <laughs> You saved someone who was supposed to die. Oh, no. oh, birdie. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, Window. All right, bird. Where did you go? Scared. There we go. Fly, be free. Gets killed immediately. <laughs> it will have consequences. It's such a warm, beautiful day. How could a killer storm just pop up tomorrow? Good question. Eggs. I don't know, should I close the window? Please no bird. Please don't hit it. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. Yeah, good question. Alright, let's see what we got. Mirror. Cabinet. Oh, that blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. True. Use your sink. This will have consequences. <laughs> All right. This might be the last poster advertising Arcadia Bay after tomorrow night. Yeah, it might. All right. Downstairs we go. Oh man, this is awkward, huh? <laughs> he has his bag packed. Get out of the house. We don't you want you. This battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. You broke up David, my family. I salute you. I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. That's right. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Into the dark? You mean the dark room? 
That's an oddly specific thing to say. Dang, man, we kicked him out. I helped Joyce lose William and now David. Uh, yeah? That is a good thing. Yo, yo, Max. Your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. Chloe actually texted you? I sure didn't have her number. At least I still get to go ape with you unless you want to chill with Chloe. Or we can all go together. One pain in the ass is enough. Cool, I have to jet. Talk to you later. Ooh, we're going to have to pick between Warren and Chloe. It isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. No. Oh, she's so cute. TV. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on? I here? tell you. Spirit animal. It's not looking good. Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. <laughs> Ouch. David, do not be here when I get back from work. I mean it. Joyce. Yeeks. Clock. Did I actually cause that clock to stop? Uh, yes you did. Oh, there's a ladybug stuck in the dials. Huh. That's oddly specific. Time keeps on ticking. Where did the ladybug go? Somehow oh. I existed in this whole other reality. But I, I don't know what happened. Because it didn't affect you. The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happens. Explains the homeless woman. Now Max Caulfield exists in two... Or maybe three different realities. Timeline A, B, How and C. Have a destiny? And this is D. You will always have a destiny. It ends the same. I, I hate the thought of William and Joyce finding Chloe like that. Hey, that's what's gonna happen. <sighs> Thinking about all the all timelines will intersect. Almost makes my head hurt worse than the rewind. And when they all intersect at the same time, boom, tornado. Too many. Too many causal effects happen all at once. When all those effects happen all at once and there's no way to take control of the timeline, everything gets ruined. I think ruined. this all started with my vision of a tornado. Arcadia Bay Beacon. Echo Apocalypse Now? While Arcadia Bay was until now considered a quaint fishing and tourist coast, the, to the town that time forgot is... The town that time forgot is since the beginning of this week in the literal eye of an environmental storm starting with a freak snowfall unprecedented eclipse dying birds and now a half a dozen beached whales arcadia Bay's strange weather is being studied by prominent state and national scientists apparently including nasa what's even more incredible than these eco phenomena is the fact that not a single meteorologist offered any actual theory or even reason for this atmospheric havoc it always says next page next page but there's nothing there my butterfly sketch doesn't exist in this timeline. Like William. Makes sense. Max the time bandit strikes again. Yes, man, more birds, huh? Poor birds. I guess David wasn't in the mood to clean up. Yeah, do you blame him? Step on him. Step on him. Step on him. Okay. Let's see, what else is out here? Besides more birds. Uh, nothing else out here? Window. William never finished painting that wall. Okay, so the house was not blue. I didn't think so. Alright. Into the garage we go, huh? Warning, I don't dial 911. Looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe ah. Some new clues I thought the car was never going to be fixed, but I guess it was. Interesting. Let's start here. What 
the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Mr. Matson, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Best. I don't like that. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. Probably both. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff too. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Joyce, you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overstepped bounds of the surveillance and suspicion, and I'm truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay I have never told you. You are my wife and partner, and I know we should have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student almost committed suicide on my watch. You kicked me out of my favorite home, and my, stop my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me. Some people have theorized that Joyce has rewind powers, and that David caught her using her powers on camera, which is why he put up more surveillance, because he was trying to explain it. I don't know about that, but, you know, hey, let's look at the map first. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescott This is where Joyce worked in the alternate timeline. I bet you it wasn't an alternate I timeline. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. <laughs> David Matson. As per our discussion about the new campus surveillance system, Miss Grant has informed me that her petition was only one avenue of protest. While we initiate this new area of Blackwell security, we must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our students. I did not sign the petition because, yeah, I'm not going to sign that. I wonder if David is going to the party. I, I want more cameras in there because I want to find out what happened with Rachel. And it might just catch us using our powers on camera. Which, to be honest, how cool would that be to see? Man. Locker. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? We know the number from last time. Oh, what was it? Shit. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Ah. Oh. Oh, I need to find a way to break this padlock. I don't remember what it was. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Okay, so the guys, this is going to be the end of this playthrough. I'm actually at the end of this episode anyway. But, um... I can actually look up my playthrough and find out what the padlock answer was. So, I am going to go do that. This will be the end of part 4. And I'll see you next time when we open the padlock for Life is Strange, Episode 4, The Dark Room, Part 4. Lighter, Lightning Army.